All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson eight. And in this lesson, we're continuing to have our students make that friendly number 10. They're continuing to make 10. And they're continuing uh, the previous lesson as well uh, with starting with one of the add-ins being eight. And I'm gonna also continue in this lesson with the idea of I'm gonna do provide additional scaffolding by using actual 10 frames rather than having my first graders just simply put dots in rows of five, as they call them five groups in Eureka Math. Uh, so I'm gonna continue using the 10 frames. For example, if we have eight plus five, I'm gonna model the eight on the first 10 frame, I'm gonna model the five on the second 10 frame, and then we're gonna show, and that's a visual way to show that we can take two from the five, move it over to fill in that first 10 frame, and we have eight, and now the new expression becomes 10 plus three, which is of course 13. So let's get started. So we're being asked to solve, uh, make math drawings using the 10 frame, and to show how you made 10 in order to solve. Now I'm gonna explicitly use actual 10 frames. So here's my, my actual 10 frames. And we're going to begin by modeling that 8 plus 4. So we're going to start by modeling 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we're going to model the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, so we've got, we've just modeled the 8 plus 4. And we're going to show students that, well, what we're missing down here is 2. 2 dots. So we're going to take 2 dots and move them over here. And so we're going to think of that 4, instead of thinking of it as a 4, we're going to think of it as uh, 2 plus 2. And you can see, here's the 2, here's the other 2. So 4 is really 2 plus 2. And we now have our 10. And so the new um, expression is going to be 10 plus 2. Now where does the 10 come from? It comes from here. Where does the 2 come from? It's right here. And another way to see it is we could see it right here. 8 plus 2 is 10. And then you have the 2 left over. So 10 plus 2, we all know, that's pretty. That's a 10 plus fact, and we're good at those. That's 12. That means 8 plus 4 is 12. Now, considering this thing, this is what Eureka Math gives you. What they're saying is... They're saying they want you to model it uh, like this. So I'm going to get my red, my blue, I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then they, that's you, you've just modeled the 8. And now in order to model the 4, you're going to fill in the 10 frame, and then you have 2 left over. So this is how they want you to model it uh, their way. I'm slightly changing it down here with the actual explicit 10 frames. Just more of the same, just more practice. So we're, we're going to begin by modeling 7 plus 8. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to model 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so we've just modeled 7 plus 8. Uh, but we see that our 8 is missing 2. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take 2 dots from the 7, and we're going to move it over here, and now we have a 10. So we end up with a 5 plus 10. And so how did we get that? Well, we went, I'm going to go back, oops, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say, well, when we moved these 2 over to here, we took, we turned the 7 into a 5 plus a 2. And then that created our 10. That created our 10. So we end up with 5 plus 10. So I'm going to record that. 5 plus 10, which is, of course, 15. So that means 7 plus 8 is 15. And, of course, we can see that. Right, even right here. So we know the 8 needs 2 more to make 10. So we decompose the 7 to be 5 plus 2. And now we have 5 plus 10. And of course that's 15. 
All right, I chose, I chose this slide simply because it kind of looks different from your traditional textbook, so I thought I would make it easier for the parents and the teachers out there to understand what is being asked of the students because it's not always clear. The idea is we are going to uh, look at this problem, 8 plus 4, uh, represent it using our 10 frame, and then identify whether this is a, a true or false statement. So is 8 plus 4 equal to 10 plus 2? So let's model it. So we're going to model the 8 plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 8 plus 4, and the 8 is the blue, and the 4 is the red, ends up being the same as 10 plus 2. And so we got 2, whoa, well, 2 and 2. I'm using fat ink, and that's perfectly fine. And so, yeah, sure enough, 8 plus 2 is 10. So 8 and 2 is 10, so that's 10 plus 2. So this is indeed a true statement. It says I'm supposed to circle it. Uh, but I'm just going to put T for true. That's good enough. Let's move all the way over to uh, question C. That's good enough. So we're going to begin by modeling that 8 because that's been the theme at this point. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then modeling the 7 is 1, 2. So that finishes out the 10 frame. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oops. Oops. Nope. Too much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't need... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't need this guy right there. He's gone. He's gone. So what are we left with? So we can go back and we can say, well, the model is 5 and 2. We're going to decompose 7 to be 5 and 2. So there's our 10. And then 10 plus 5 is 15. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But this is not 15. So this is a false statement. So they, they want us to cross that off, and they want us to circle this one. So you get the idea. So that wraps up first grade, module 2, lesson 8. But I'm going to point out a, a quick thing right here. So let's say we have 7 plus 8. And so you're going to have a couple of 10 frames. And if you're going to model this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to model 7. So let's model 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we want to model 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, what this whole lesson has been about has been stick with the 8 and bring the dots over to fill and make your 10. But some of your students may be saying, hey, wait a second, why can't we stick with a 7 and bring some of the dots over and fill out this guy to be a 10? And you are absolutely allowed to do that. So parents and teachers, feel free to differentiate with some of your students by allowing them to choose which frame they would like to turn into the 10 and which frame they would like to decompose. And anyway, that wraps up Lesson 8.